Good morning, G1E boys and girls. This is Pastor Marilyn at Spring Valley Church of God. I hope you guys had such a wonderful Christmas celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ with your family and your friends. Remember from last week's lesson, Sister Robbie said that the best gift of all is Jesus. Well, I hope I'm pretty sure you guys went to different parties over the holiday. Um, maybe you had a party, a Christmas party at your house, one at school, maybe a Christmas party with your friends. Well, in today's lesson, we're going to be talking about a very special party, and that is God's forever party. We're going to learn uh, that his party lasts forever. And we're going to learn how do we get there. First, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for blessing us with this special time that we could come together as your children and learn about your word. We ask that you open our eyes, our ears, our hearts, and our minds to see you, to hear you, to know you, and to share your word with others so they will know about your forever party in heaven too. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So boys and girls, when you guys go to a party, usually you get an invite either in the mail, uh, maybe your parents got the invite through Facebook. And what do they have to do to go to the party? They have to accept the invitation. It's called RSVPing. They have to say, hey, yes, we're coming, we'll be there, either um, through the phone or through Facebook or through the mail. Well, usually when you get to the party, uh, there's your friends and your family are there. There's good food and good things to drink. There's games, decorations. Um, you usually bring a gift to the person to wish them a happy birthday or whatever the party is for. Um, we might sing happy birthday, we sing songs, we put music on, we dance, and we have such a wonderful time. Well, sometimes at Christmas parties, um, we are given these. This is called a Christmas cracker. It says peace on it. And what we do is we crack it open and see what's inside. Are you ready to do that? Let's see what's inside. One person is supposed to grab one end, the other grabs the other, and you crack it open. What's inside? Kind of like the goodie bags that you get before you leave a party, right? They give you something before you leave. Well, here it is. And what's inside is some candy. Sometimes there's crowns inside these crackers. So if you get one of these at a Christmas party, you leave with some candy and a crown. We're going to be talking a little bit about crowns in just a minute. So our lesson starts out in um, our Adventure Bible, Revelation chapter 21, verses 1 through 7. We're going to read that together, okay? I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth were completely gone. There was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem. It was coming down out of heaven from God. It was prepared like a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne. It said, look. God now makes his home with the people. He will live with them. They will be his people. And God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death. And there will be no more sadness. There will be no more crying or pain. There are no longer Things are no longer the way they used to be. He who was sitting on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, write this down. You, will, you can trust these words. They are true. He said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, 
the beginning and the end. I will give water to anyone who is thirsty. The water will come from the spring of the water of life. It doesn't cost anything. Those who have victory will receive all this from me. I will be their God and they will be my children. That's Revelation chapter 21, verses one through seven. Um, and I encourage you to read that with your parents. I also encourage you to read the books of Revelation 21 and 22 with your parent or somebody who can read to you. Because these are the things we're gonna be talking about. So what will heaven look like? There will be a new heaven and a new earth. There will no longer be a sea. The streets will be made of gold. There will be gates made of pearls. There will be no sun or no moon because God will be our light. That's what it says in Revelation. And guess what? There will be no moon either. So how many of you sleep with a nightlight? I have one in my bathroom so I can see at night. So in heaven, there'll be no need for nightlights. Another thing that we will see in heaven is that we will see God and Jesus face to face. Did you ever wonder what God looks like? Did you ever wonder what Jesus looks like? Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to see. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Also in heaven, it says in the revelation that there will be no more crying. Isn't that wonderful? It says that God will wipe away our tears. The Bible says, well, it tells us what won't be in heaven. It says that there won't be any crying. There won't be any death. Did you ever have someone in your family pass away? Or maybe even a friend? Well, there'll be no more death in heaven, boys and girls. There'll be no more sadness. All of us have sadness here on earth sometimes. There'll be no more pain. Do you ever fall down and hurt yourself? or get into some kind of car accident and you had pain, or maybe you had pain when you were sick. Well, in Revelation chapter 21, God says that there will be no more pain and there will be no more sin. Sin is the bad things that we do and the good things that we don't do because sinners are not allowed into heaven. Who will be there in heaven? Well, it says that Number one, God and Jesus will be there. We'll see them face to face. We talked about that just a minute ago. And it says that anyone whose name is written in the Lamb's book of life. That's in Revelation 21 and 27. Now, how do we get our name written in God's, um, in the Lamb's book of life? by accepting God's invitation to the party. Now, did you get your invitation to the party? God sent his invitation to his party when he sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. Now, how do we accept that invitation? How do we RSVP? By asking Jesus to be our Lord and Savior. It's, and it's easy. We'll do that in just a little bit. You know what else I want to talk to you about? About God's forever party in heaven? What will we do in heaven forever? Well, God says that he will be giving us some crowns. There's about five different crowns in the Bible. We don't have time to talk about all the crowns but one of the crowns is called the crown of righteousness. Your parents can help you find that in the Bible. It's in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8, crown of righteousness. 
I know uh, many little girls like to wear crowns and pretend to be princesses, but guess what? Everybody's going to get a crown when we go to heaven. There's about five of them. What else will we, will we be doing in heaven? We'll simply be God's children. We'll be living with God, kind of like you live with your parents or maybe your grandma, grandpa, aunties, uncles. We'll be living with God, only it'll be in heaven. We'll be worshiping God. Revelation chapter seven and nine talks about how we will be singing hallelujah and praises to God in heaven. And there will be servants of God in heaven. That's in Revelation 22 and three. Well, earlier I said that to get to heaven, we got to accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. We have to accept God's invitation. How do we do that? Well, God says that if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that he died for us, we will be saved. That's accepting God's invitation. Do you want to accept God's invitation so one day you can go to his forever party? Well, let's take a minute. We're going to pray. If you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and Lord, Lord of Lords and King of Kings, we'll do that now. He'll forgive you for all of your sins, the ones you do you did yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And he'll give you a home in heaven. Let's pray for, take a minute to pray, everybody. And repeat after me. Say, dear God, I ask you to forgive me for my sins. I believe that Jesus is your son. Thank you for dying on the cross for me, Jesus. I ask you to be my Lord and my Savior. Go and tell others about you and depend on you to help me obey you because it's not easy. Thank you for your Holy Spirit, who's my friend, who gives me power to obey you and teaches me about you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, do you guys know what's going on in heaven right now? If you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you accepted God's invitation to his heavenly party, there's a party already going on in heaven. The angels are dancing, they are singing, they are rejoicing, and they are so excited for you because one day you are going to be going to heaven. You're going to see God, you're going to see Jesus, and all of the people who have who have accepted God's invitation. So next, you have a job to do. You want to take as many people as possible to heaven with you. How do you do that? By telling them about Jesus. Telling them to accept God's invitation to his heavenly party that lasts forever. Tell them to ask Jesus to be their Lord and Savior. Come to G1 Elementary where they can learn about him and worship him. That's it for today, boys and girls. I hope you really enjoyed this lesson. I surely did. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.